Hello Stampers, Donna Gray here, your independent Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I've actually had a request after I did my Star of Light um, boxes, gift boxes. I actually had a request if I could do them in a size that would fit the cards. So if you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, you will remember that I've made these Star of Light Christmas cards. They are actually five and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches. So today I'm actually going to make a box that will fit some of these cards in it for you as a gift box, as requested. Okay, so to get started, what we're actually going to be doing is we'll be using the Star of Light stamp set and we'll be using Cherry Cobbler um, cardstock and we'll be using Versamark and gold embossing powder. Okay, so the Star of Light is a beautiful set. As you know, it's one of my favorites. It's in our new holiday catalog that is um, running now from 1st of September through to the 3rd of January. So it's available to purchase now online if you'd like. Um, down below the video, you will find the information box, the little box that says more. If you Click on more, you will find the link to my online store and my email address and all the items that I use in this video um, if you wanted to purchase. I would love to do business with you. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator and you're looking for one, I would be happy to take on that role for you. I can post out to you the latest catalogs free of charge if you live in Australia. All you need to do is email me on that email address. It's in the information box down below and I'll be happy to do so. Okay, so let's get on with it. So what we're going to need today is two sheets of cherry cobbler cardstock. The only thing is with this, you will not be able to get it out of your A4 sheets. You will actually have to have a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock because the base for it needs to be 11 inches by 11 inches. And for the lid, we need eight and one eighth of an inch by eight and one eighth of an inch. Okay, and we need a scoreboard. So, with our base, what we're going to do is grab our scoreboard and our bone folder. Sorry, I had things piled on top of it. Okay, grab our scoreboard and our bone folder. Now, our base, we're going to score a score line down each side at two and a half inches. That will be the depth of our box. So we're going to score at two and a half by two and a half by two and a half by two and a half. We'll do our lid at the same time while we've got our scoreboard out. Now our lid we're actually, that's our 8 and 1 8 piece by 8 and 1 8. What we're actually going to do for the lid, we're going to score it at 1 inch because I'm actually having a smaller lid on the top of the box. So 1 inch. So down each side, we're scoring at 1 inch. 1 inch. And 1 inch. Sorry, but that looks way too big. Sorry, back again. I actually had my wrong piece of cardstock. I'd picked up another one. So we do have a piece 8 and 1 8 by 8 and 1 8. The one I had was by 8 and 1 8 by 9 inches. That's why it didn't quite work. So with this one, as I said, we're going to score, this is for our lid, at 1 inch all the way around. That's looking a lot better. Okay. Much better. Okay. So now that's all we need to do with our scoreboard. So we'll pop that away. Now, this is a simple box. Um, what we'll do is, is we'll emboss now on the top of our box and we might do some on the sides as well. Okay, so we're going to use our embossing buddy. And 
a scrap piece of paper. Now, Versamark. What I'm going to do is just create a pattern all the way over the top, which will look quite pretty. So I'm going to put a star there. Another star there. Turn it around to have the long bit in the middle. Okay, I'm going to bring in the lovely glitter spray that has stars and sparkles. This is probably my most favourite stamp out of the whole set. One there, think it up again, another one there, and what I might do is do this spray just along the edges of the box, so I'll actually be stamping off my cardstock here. create a bit of interest along the edge of that box. If you decide to purchase this stamp set you will realise it is an absolutely beautiful stamp set and I'm positive that you will love it as much as what I do. Especially this beautiful spray. Probably can't see much detail at the moment, but when I pop the embossing powder on and do the heat emboss, you'll understand when you see the gold appear. Okay. Just wondering whether I've got enough. No, I might actually use... different star out of the set Just for a bit of interest in that middle part. Okay so I'm going to use this star here. I ink this up pretty well because it's a fairly solid star so you need to make sure you've got ink all over it. Just put that in the center. Okay now we're going to bring in the gold embossing powder. Now this is one of my tricks as well. Instead of sprinkling it all over, sprinkle it on one side, tilt your cardstock and you'll find you can, if you're lucky enough, you can carefully do that. Okay, take away the embossing powder. Time to bring in the heat gun. Make sure you put lid on your Versamark so you don't dry any of your Versamark out. Make sure you heat your heat gun up beforehand. As you can see the gold appearing. This is a fairly large area to heat emboss so just take your time. And I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay, so 
I've now embossed all my lid and I've also done some embossing all around the edges of the sides. Now this is fairly straightforward how to make these boxes. So we'll make the top first. So what we do is we need to make some flaps that are going to fold inside. So we're going to just notch out some tabs on that end. We'll go the opposite end, notch out some tabs again, making sure you're leaving this middle one square because that one's going to come down and be the edges of our, of our box. So down this way, and these little notch bits are going to fold inside to make our box, and down that way. Okay, we do the same thing with our base, notch down one side, and the other. And notching them in just makes it fold in very nicely that you um, don't have any edges popping up above the edge of the side when you fold them in. Now for the purpose of this video, I actually, I don't have any tear and tape with me, but I would use tear and tape or probably fast fuse to glue these together. Um, but at this stage, I just don't have it on hand. So I'm just going to use my snail, but I wouldn't advise to use the snail as it needs to be um, quite firm the hold to hold the box together to be able to hold all the cards, <coughs> cards that you're going to put in it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to burnish all of our fold marks. And as you can see, these go together very, very easily. What I'm going to do is give you, um, so now on the inside of these tabs, as I said, I would use fast fuse if I, if I was going to do this, but at the moment, snail is all I have on hand to do this quick video. Okay, so it's as simple as we line that square edge up really well, press together. Line the square edge up, press together, line the square edge up, press together, line the square edge up, and press together. And there you go, that's the base of your box, and as you can see, cards will fit in there nicely. You could probably fit maybe about six or eight cards in there with envelopes. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing for the top, we're going to burnish our, our folds. Be careful of your embossing when you go to burnish your folds. And at the end of this video, I'll, I'll show you on a piece of paper how you can work out what size you need for your cards. You can make a box for just about anything depending on whether you've got the cardstock that's big enough to be able to cut one piece and you can always join two pieces together. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry about that. Didn't bank on my phone ringing while I was trying to do a video tutorial. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing as what we did with the base, with all our corners. Okay. And there you have it. A lovely little gift box for 
your cards to go in to give to it as a present. Now, I would I would put a nice tag on there, maybe wrap a little bit of ribbon around it to pretty it up. But as you can see, um, these boxes are quite easy to make, but a really lovely accompaniment to a gift. And as you can imagine, the beautiful star cards going inside. So as you can see, I've made some beautiful items out of one stamp set and bundle with um, framelits, thinlets. So um, yes, you can make some beautiful things with this bundle. Um, I will leave the item number for all the items that I've used in this underneath the in the information box. A quick thing I'm just going to do before we go is I'm just going to show you how you can work out um, the sizing of your card. And this is very, very rough. Um, okay, so if you have, say you have a six by six card, six inches by six inches. What you need to do is just allow for the edge of your box to turn up. So you need your base to be six by six to fit your cards in. So what you do is on this side you add, so because my box was two and a half inches high, I added two and a half inches to there and two and a half inches to there, which then makes the side there to 10, 11 inches. Okay, so that's where I got my 11 inches for one length. And because it's square, it's 11 by 11. Now to make your lid, what you do is you only add one eighth of an inch. Okay, but we actually decided that our lid was only going to be one inch deep. Okay, so what we do is we go back to here again and we go six inches. So we're going to add one inch on one side, one inch on the other side, okay, which gets us to eight inches, and you allow plus one eighth of an inch to allow for the lid to be a little bit bigger, okay? So that ended up, gave us a piece of eight and one eighth by eight and one eighth. But what you need to realize is whatever size you decide, the depth that you decide to do your box, that is what you score at. So because we wanted our box to be two and a half inches deep, we actually scored our 11 by 11 inch piece at two and a half inches. Okay, so then with our lid, we wanted our lid to be only one inch deep. So we scored our eight and one eighth by eight and one eighth piece at one inch. Okay, so what that does is it still gives you the same size here. Your lid, you have one eighth of an inch extra to give you a little bit of room, but your, your base, you have a six by six base. So you can do that for any card shape. So I've actually done another card shape. Say you had a card that was um, four and a half inches. Is that what it is? Yeah, four and a half inches by six and a half inches. So that's a standard card side size, four and a half by six and a half. Okay, so with that, you add the same dimensions. Depending on how deep you want it, you add that depth, you score at that depth. Depending on how deep you want the lid, if you only want the lid one inch, then you actually only score at one inch. Okay, and you always allow point one eighth of an inch extra for your lid. Okay, so I hope that explains it. If you don't understand, please message me and I'll try and understand, um, try and explain it a bit clearer. But as you can see, um, we've got some beautiful gift boxes here that match. So any color that you wanted to do, but as I said, this set is an absolutely gorgeous set. Okay. And there you have it. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if there's any questions you would like to know, please 
either leave me a comment or use my email address and email me. And as I said, I will leave all the directions and um, sizing and things in that. Also, you can go to my blog. I'll leave a link for my blog so you can actually, um, this is all on my blog as well. But you get all the information from the YouTube video. So, happy crafting everybody. And once again, this is Donna Gray, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. Okay, thank you, and happy crafting till I see you again.